Welcome you all to the video lecture on signals and system. Today we are going to find out the convolution between x of n and h of n using graphical method. And this type of linear uh, convolution is also called as discrete convolution. So, for the linear convolution the formula for convolution sum is given by x of n star h of n which is given by summation k is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k h of n minus k. So, when we see the problem given is x of n and h of n, but when we see the formula we do not have x of n and h of n, but we have x of k h of n minus k. So, what are all the steps first we need to find out when we are finding out the convolution sum. First replace n by k. So, we need to find out x of k and h of k. This is the first step. Then once we have determined h of k, we need to find out h of minus k. That is we have to apply time reversal operation so that we can find out h of minus k. And then third operation we need to find out time shifting. So, that is h of n minus k that is h of minus k plus n or we can also name it as h of n minus k. So, once we have obtained the reversal operation we have to add with plus n so that we can find out h of n minus k. Once done with that we have to do the multiplication operation that is we need to multiply x of k with h of n minus k and finally we need to find the summation term that is summation k is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k h of n minus k we need to find out ok. So, these are all the steps we need to follow while finding out the convolution sum. So, given is x of n, given is x of n that is 1, 2, 3 and then 4 h of n that is 1, 2, minus 1. So, first replace it by k. So, x of k is 1 again the same sequence 1, 2, 3, 4 and h of k is 1, 2, minus 1 ok. So, first let us draw what is x of k. So, what is the range of x of k? So, here the arrow exists at n equal to 0. So, the previous value is n equal to minus 1, here n equal to minus 2, this value is n equal to 1. Similarly, here there is no arrow meaning that the first value exists at n equal to 0, next value exists at n equal to 1, next value exists at n equal to 2. So, first let me draw the diagram for x of k. This value exists at n equal to 0. So, what is the range minus 2 to 1? So, minus 2, minus 1, 0 and then 1. So, only at these positions we have values. At minus 2, what is the amplitude? It is 1 at minus 1 the amplitude is 2, at 0 the amplitude is 3, at 1 the amplitude is 4. So, this is x of k and then similarly draw h of k. What is h of k? It the range is 0 to 2. So, 0 1 2 at 0 the amplitude is 1 at 1 the amplitude is 2 at 2 the amplitude is minus 1. This is h of k. Then we need to find the time reversal operation that is h of minus k. So, how will you draw h of minus k? Whatever the value at 0 will exist as it is. So, 1 will remain as it is. At 1 
the value is 2 it will go to minus 1 at 2 the value is minus 1 it will go to minus 2. So, just reverse your signal and draw the diagram. So, once done with this we need to find out the term h of n minus k, but before finding out the value h of n minus k we need to know the range ok what is the output range ok. So, here the range of x of k x of k ranges or x of n ranges minus 2 to 1 and h of k ranges 0 to 2. So, if it is so the output final output y of n ranges minus 2 to 3 ok. So, add these two values lower limits minus 2 plus 0 is minus 2 1 plus 2 is 3. So, the output range is minus 2 to 3. So, if it is so this values ok that is minus 2 to 3 is nothing but n value ok. So, we need to find out h of n minus k for different values of n. So, in this problem the value of n is nothing but minus 2 to 3. And once we have done with h of n minus k what we have to do? We need to multiply x of k and h of n minus k ok. So, we can write that n value ranges from minus 2 to 3. So, this is the important step once we have done with that we need to multiply x of k and h of n minus k and we need to find out the summation ok. So, what is the first value of n? My first value of n is minus 2 ok. So, for n equal to minus 2 we need to find out h of n minus k and we have to multiply that value with x of k. So, already we know this is x of k right. So, draw that as it is one more time we can draw. So, what are all the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4 and here n equal to minus 2. So, this term becomes h of minus 2 minus k. So, how will you draw h of minus 2 minus k? So, h of minus k is this. So, we need to left shift this value by minus 2. Usually what we will do minus 2 minus k equal to 0. So, k is equal to minus 2. We need to left shift this term by 2 times in the left hand side. So, minus 2 will become minus 4, minus 1 will become minus 3, 0 will become minus 2. So, 2 times we have to left shift ok. So, the amplitude remains same. What are all the amplitudes? Minus 1, 2, 1 ok. So, with this, this is x of k, this is h of n minus k. So, what I have to do next term I have to multiply x of k into h of n minus k finally I have to add all the values ok. So, I can simply write y of minus 2 as ok. Check both the diagram where the common value exists ok, where the k value is same in both the diagram ok. Here there is no minus 4 meaning that here the value is 0, 0 into any value is 0. At minus 3 here there is no value again 0 into any value is 0. When you check both the diagram only at only at minus 2 the amplitude exists in both the diagrams ok. Only those amplitudes I have to multiply. So, at minus 2 the amplitude here it is 1 at minus 2 the amplitude here it is 1 ok other values and all 0. So, 1 into 1 plus 0. So, I can write y of minus 2 as 1 ok. So, this is the first value of y of n minus 2. Then what is the next range y of minus 2 next value is y of minus 1 ok y of minus 1 I need to find out. So, n equal to minus 1. So, I have to draw x of k and h of minus 1 minus k multiply both the values. 
so anyway this range is minus 2 minus 1 0 1 the amplitude is 1 2 3 4 and h of minus 1 minus k. So, already we know h of minus k ok the value exists at minus 2 minus 1 0. So, when you left shift that value it will go to minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 ok. So, minus 2 becomes minus 3 minus 1 becomes minus 2 0 becomes minus 1. So, the amplitudes are minus 1, 2 and then 1. So, finally what is y of minus 1? Compare both the diagrams ok. In both the diagrams commonly ok where are the values exist at minus 2, minus 1 right. These values only exist in both the diagrams. Other values it is not existing in one diagram. So, it becomes 0. So, at minus 2 in this diagram the value is 1, in this diagram the value is 2. So, 1 into 2 ok. At minus 1 here it is 2, here it is 1. So, multiply. Finally, add all the values ok. So, 2 plus 2 is nothing but 4, y of minus 1 is 4. Similarly, n equal to 0, n equal to 0 means take x of k as it is as usual ok. So, there is no change in your x of k for all the values up to n equal to 3 always x of k remains same ok. But h of minus k plus n it varies according to the value of minus n value. So, minus 2 minus 1 0 1 1 2 3 4. h of minus k already we have determined the same diagram you have to draw. So, the value exists at minus 2 minus 1 0 amplitude is minus 1 2 1 this is h of minus k. There is no shift in the diagram just draw h of minus k as it is. So, where both the diagram exist so, when you compare both the diagram the values exist at minus 2, minus 1 as well as 0. All three values exist. So, here 1 into minus 1, here 2 into 2 add both the values and again plus here one more value is there. So, 3 into 1. So, minus 1 plus 4 plus 3 ok that is 6, y of 0 is 6. So, y of minus 1 is 4 already we have obtained. So, y of 0 is 6 and then again since the range is minus 2 to 3 ok n equal to 1 now. n equal to 1 means there is no change in your x of k diagram draw as it is 1 2 3, 4. H of 1 minus k. 1 minus k means 1 minus k equal to 0, k equal to 1. We have to right shift this diagram by 1 time. Okay. So, minus 2 will now become minus 1, next value 0, next value 1. So, 1 time right shift your values. Amplitude remains say minus 1, 2, 1. So, what is y of 1? In both the diagrams where your values exist minus 1, 0, 1. So, here 2, here minus 1. So, 2 into minus 1 plus here 3, here 2 plus here 4, here 1. So, the value is h. So, y of 1 is h.
next n equal to 2 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 the diagram remains same h of 2 minus k I have to find out 2 minus k means again this diagram I have to refer always 2 minus k equal to 0 so k is equal to 2 so right shift this value by 2 times so minus 2 becomes 0 0 1 2 or else what you can do in all the diagrams ok already we have uh, started with h of minus 2 minus k right there it starts from minus 4 by default next diagram it will start minus 3 see next diagram it will go to minus 2 next diagram it will go to minus 1 next diagram will go to 0 definitely the next diagram will go to 1 ok like that also you can remember ok. So draw first h of n minus k diagram then the next next diagram you have to 1 times right shift and draw the diagram. So here it is minus 3 here it is minus 2 here it is minus 1 here it is 0 definitely the next diagram it will start at 1 ok like that one time one time you can right shift and draw the diagram in simple way you can remember in that way so minus 1 2 1 so what is y of 2 in both the diagram at 0 the value exists at 1 the value exists at 0 the value is 3 here it is minus 1 here 4 here 2 so 8 minus 3 is 5 so finally n is equal to 3 at n equal to 3 again the same concept minus 2 minus 1 0 1 1 2 3 4 this is x of k h of 3 minus k so 3 minus k is 0 so k is equal to 3 so you have to right shift this diagram by 3 times so minus 2 plus 3 becomes 1 so at 1 you have to start 1 2 3 so already I have said when you see here it starts minus 3 next diagram minus 2 next diagram minus 1 next diagram 0 next diagram by default it starts at 1 amplitude minus 1 2 1 so h of 3 minus k so what is y of 3 when you compare both the diagram only at 1 the value exists so here it is 4 here it is minus 1 so it is minus 4 so finally I can conclude that y of n is already I have obtained y of minus 2 right y of minus 2 the value is 1 here y of minus 1 is 4 y of 0 is a 6 y of 1 is 8 y of 2 is 5 y of 3 is minus 4 and the range is minus 2 to 3 so this is minus 2 minus 1 here I have to put the arrow this is 0 1 2 3 okay so this is y of n so like this we can find out the convolution between x of n and h of n using graphical method. Thank you. Thanks for watching.